Hello and welcome to the Stoic Tarot. My name is Ari. I do tarot and oracle deck walkthroughs. In this video, we are taking a look at the uh, Ferenc Pen Pen Pinter? Pinir? Pinir, I guess, maybe? I don't know, butchering it, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, it's got like a it's pretty standard box. No art on the inside, but I'm really looking forward to the art of this deck because I love this. So let's see. Ah, plastic, excellent. Um, taking a look at the book. Pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, let's see. Tarot decks from the very beginning have always been incredible works of art. I agree. One artist who heeded the call of the tarot to express himself through the arcana was Ferenc, 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 Pener, Peter, very sorry. Um, orphaned as a young age, he grew up in Budapest in 1989. He painted a beautiful series of 22 tarot trumps for the production company uh, Los Scarbio for this guy's. Um, and sometimes minimalistic, sometimes heavily stylized. Uh, he thoughtfully holds a mirror up to our world and hints at other dimensions that exist beyond the reach of our senses. Uh, interpreting the art, uh, the traditions and uh, the traditions of the art and culture that the painter has made use of, the unique perspective the artist brings to the painting, the way the piece speaks to you. Oh, I actually really like that. Okay, the minor arcana. The Courts of the Tarot, meaning pages, knights, queens, kings, performing a reading, interpreting the majors. Okay, here we go. I'll hold this up here. Feel free to read if you want. Um, you get about uh, a solid paragraph for each card. If you want more time to read at your leisure, feel free to pause here. I'm going to move forward. Let's see, the minors also get a solid paragraph, which is kind of nice. I'll hold it here. Feel free to pause if you want to read. I am moving on. So you get all the cards and then you go into other languages. That's cool. Setting that aside. Let's rip this off. Huzzah! Rip this off like these. Savagely. And let's see. That's one card. Uh, really loving the artwork on this they're very shiny as you can see but um thick cards and yeah let's uh let's get into this flip through it reminds me a little bit of Don Quixote a little bit I was trying to decide if it was more Don Quixote or Sancho but um wow This foot makes my ankle hurt. Mm, I really like this. I really like this. And the cards are thick. Like, I feel like I have more than one, but I don't. Yeah, these weirdly angled limbs uh, are like disorienting, disjointing. Yeah, see what I did there? Disjointing. That's pretty interesting. I get like a very, very mild, a very subdued level of satire from these cards. I don't know why. Maybe because I immediately thought of Don Quixote on that first card. And like we read the book. My friends and I read the book. And it is... It is a really, really funny, very good book, but there's a level of like satire, a level of humor there, even under like the haha -ha funny stuff. And so I, maybe that's coloring the way that I see the rest of these cards. Like, some of them feel a little more solemn, but.
but even even like this kind of splash of pink is like a little bit of hope very interesting this reminds me of the story of apollo and his son uh if you're not familiar with it uh i will leave a link for it in the description but essentially apollo's son tries to ride the chariot to prove to his friends that he is actually apollo's sun and totally messes it up and it's the reason why we have deserts and why the the poles of the earth are frozen it's a pretty funny story um you can check it out i like this i like that the kind of landscape folds into their shirt clothing arms this interesting little bit of red here a setting sun and this was like a totally different time, pe time period piece than some of the other art that I've looked at recently. Meaning like in this deck, some of the cards, earlier cards. I love this. I'm trying to see if there's like animals here or is it just almost like Rorschach? Like what, what I see is different from what you see. Really, really interesting artwork. Very thought-provoking. At least to me. This kind of planial ground underneath. It, this almost feels like uh, one of those illusion houses where it's just that the ceiling and the floor are smaller in the back. And so these are actually two the same size figures. It's just the illusion of, this, of the roof and the floor being smaller here, making this person seem bigger. Interesting. Dr. Jekyll. And of course, me being a nerd, when I see this, I think of the last time Ahsoka met Anakin, aka Darth Vader. Yeah, more of this like illusion trickery kind of stuff. Super interesting. Beautiful artwork on these buildings. This deck goes for $27. If you want to pick up a copy, you can find links in the description. And uh, if you use the links in my videos, you support my channel a little bit, which I appreciate. I'm not sponsored or anything, so all the decks that I review, I purchased by yours truly. I like that these clubs down here have little things sprouting from them. I also really love the texture. Not just the, the intentional texture like the of the bark, but also like the texture you can see in the solid-ish colors. It looks like a it almost looks like it's painted onto like a fabric. And this red here is very intense. Hmm, this reminds me a little bit of uh, the Shattered Plains from Stormlight Archive, which is a book that we are reading. Great, great book. Highly recommend. This could be a scene from a tango dance. That's what I feel. It's like a dramatized tango as he's like flipping her over. This looks like... This reminds me of Lestrand from Sherlock Holmes. Anyway, oh my, I 
beautiful. Oh, I love this. This might be one of my favorite cards in this whole deck. This Four of Swords. Very intense. I feel like overall the deck, the, the the deck as a whole started out a little uh, a little lighthearted and just kind of gradually became more serious. Maybe because it's terminating with the swords, which are kind of all about mental activity and stress. But it just like the levity I feel like has has gone from the deck, and now it's just all very serious. Bleeding under the armor. Gladiator style. This little silhouette here. I like that. She lost her mind. She is crazy. Really interesting. Wow, what a journey this deck has been. Okay. That is cool. Alright. Quick comparison to... The Rider deck will reveal very similar in size. Heavier cardstock, again, as I mentioned, really thick, heavy cardstock, so it's uh, a thicker deck. But um, in terms of height and width, very, very similar. And that's it. That's the whole review. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like videos like this, you can head over to my YouTube channel where I've got over a hundred other videos up there, uh, reviews of other tarot and oracle decks just like this one. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. It helps the channel. Thank you. Bye.